Shepard. Good work on freedom's progress. The Quarians forwarded their findings from Vidor's debriefing. No new data, but it's a surprising olive branch given our history. You and I have different methods, but I can't argue with your results. You ever think about playing? Nice I've never experienced these friends the before. <laughs> it works, but difficult when everyone already perceives you as a threat. But more importantly, you confirm the collectors are behind the abductions. Why do I get the feeling you knew about them already? I had my suspicions, but I needed proof. The collectors are enigmatic at best. They periodically travel to the terminus systems, looking to gather seemingly unimportant items or specimens, usually in exchange for their technology. When their transactions are complete, they disappear as quickly as they arrived, back beyond the unmapped Omega-4 relay. Until now, we've had no evidence of direct aggression by the collectors. Any ideas on why they've shifted their focus to humans? If they're agents for the Reapers, it could be any number of reasons. Obviously, humanity played a huge role in Sovereign's destruction. That might have been enough to draw their attention. What really concerns me is why they bother abducting the colonists. Once the humans are paralyzed, why not just kill them? Why is the Omega-4 relay unmapped? What do we know about it? Only that no ship passing through it has ever returned. Our best guess is that the relay reacts differently to collector vessels, allowing them safe passage. If they can manipulate relays, that's just further evidence of the connection with the Reapers. You're holding something back. How do you know the Reapers are involved? The patterns are there, buried in the data. The Consul and the Alliance want to believe the Reaper threat died with Sovereign. You and I know better. I won't wait until the Reapers are on the march. We need to take the fight to them. If this is a war, I'll need an army. Or a really good team. I've already compiled a list of soldiers, scientists, and mercenaries. You'll get dossiers on the best of them. So here's the Finding big part of this game. Uh, you're either going to love this or hate it. That like 80% of this game you're building a team. For one mission. For one mission. For one mission. Awesome mission. Yeah. It is an awesome mission and your team is pretty awesome. But it really depends on what kind of a player you are. If you don't like... Like I said, that literally about... 80-85% of this game mm -hmm. you spend... I like how the first one you ask is, where's Liara? Of course. Say that she's working for the Shadow Broker. If so, she can't be trusted. What about Tally? She already helped us on Freedom's Progress. That was unexpected. I need more intel before I'll commit to that. Where's Garrus Vicarian? The Turian disappeared a few months after you were declared dead. Even we haven't been able to locate him. Where's Erdnot Rex? He returned to Chichanka, and he hasn't gone off-world in over a year. He's trying to unite the Krogan clans. I'm okay, <laughs> what do you ask about Kayan? I don't care. I really don't. Who you need. I'm still a Spectre. Maybe I can get the council. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, you yeah, are right. You are still a Spectre, but it means almost nothing in this game. Yeah, in the last game, like, you felt like you had, like, you know... Yeah, you felt like you were, like, uh, an intergalactic BAMF, where you could just go anywhere you want, do, do whatever you want, you want, kill anyone you want. Yeah, but in this game, you're you're not, like, limited, but you just can't do as, like, awesome things. Yeah. Our intelligence suggests he may know how to counteract the Collector's paralyzing Seeker Swarms. Sounds good. What else? I found a pilot I think you might like. I hear he's one of the best. Someone you can trust. Hey, Commander. Just like old times, huh? My face does not move. I, I have two face Joker. muscles. So this part is pretty cool. I, I I don't really like Joker all that much, but this uh, cutscene is pretty cool. It all fell apart without you, Commander. Everything you stirred up, the Council just wanted it gone. You'd think with the technology that we have, they would be able to give like Joker like artificial limbs or something. Yeah. Well, I don't trust anyone who makes more than I do, but they aren't all bad. Saved your life. Let me fly. And there's this. They only told me last night.
No, but this is the Normandy SR2, or as I like to call it, the Newmandy. Fuck it. Bye. So the majority of this video, we're gonna spend on the Newmandy. See ya. Guess we'll have to give Bye. Away. It's fucking. In many ways, the Newmandy is better than the original Normandy. Uh, it's not as, like, well... It's newer. It is newer. There are some things that I like more about the SR2 than I like about the SR1, but we'll get into that. We got a whole video to explore this thing. Yeah, uh, it's, uh, I think the specs of it, because, you know, I'm a nerd, it's like twice the size of the original Normandy. The you'd SR1. never know by going inside of it. Yeah, you it, Well, there's like, what, four levels to the Normandy? Four floors? Something like that? Bridge? There's only three. The bridge, captain's quarters, and like the hall. Okay, you're right, yeah. And yeah, since we don't have a big team yet, we still only have Jacob and Miranda. And I don't no mind one bringing, else. I don't mind bringing Miranda with me, but... Again, I don't care about Jacob. I don't love him and I don't hate him. Yeah. Welcome aboard the new Normandy, Commander. I've been looking over the dossiers. I'd strongly recommend starting by acquiring Morden Solus, the Solarian professor on Omega. We know the Collectors use some type of advanced technology to immobilize their victims. We'll need him to develop a countermeasure to protect us. Without that countermeasure, we'll be helpless if we ever run into the Collectors. Acquiring Professor Solus seems like the most logical place to start. Who are you? I am the Normandy's artificial intelligence. The crew like to refer to me as Edie. Helmsmen aren't happy when someone takes control of a ship away from them. Especially Joker. I do not helm the ship. Mr. Moreau's talents will not go to waste. During combat, I operate the electronic warfare and cyber warfare suites. Beyond that, I cannot interface with the ship's systems. I observe and offer analysis and advice. Nothing more. <laughs> Are you just... Now that we've got that, He's thinking that about that. What the yeah. fuck's a subroutine? <laughs> <laughs> What's cyber warfare? <laughs> What's an AI? Miranda forgot to turn on the rest of Shepard's brain. Yeah. <laughs> Just the killing part. Uh huh. But no, that's that's Edie. Uh, I'd say she's actually one of my favorite characters, quote unquote. Uh, she's voiced by Trisha Helfer, who you may you may know from uh, Battlestar Galactica. She's a pretty big character in that. And, uh, yeah, I, I like Trisha Helfer's voice for Edie. And now they're just showing you kind of the things you can do on the Normandy. Oh, you know what, you're right, there are four floors, because there's the captain's quarters, too. Right. But you should almost, like, never go there. Yeah, you really never, unless you want to collect fish. Mm-hmm. I do, but then they end up dying. Yeah. Yeah, you should almost never go to the captain's quarters. The only time you should go there is in cutscenes. Yeah, cutscenes, and I think if you want to change your load out of armor, you go to the captain's quarters. Yeah, but you can do that in a lot of other places, too. Yeah. But it's neat that they added that touch. I'll give them that. And that there, that journal updated rendezvous with Kasumi Goto, that just is, um... Since you have the DLC already installed, that automatically unlocks... Yeah. What's this area of the ship? And plus, you get the Katsumi Goto DLC only on the PS3. Yeah, on I, the I PS4, have... On the PS4, you get a different guy. The PS4? I, I mean, Xbox 360. They actually are a thing. Uh, I, I saw this on... Uh, I'm friends with uh, Mark Mir on, on Facebook, and he said that, that uh, EA is uh, considering doing a, like a, a re-release of the series on PS4 and Xbox One. Really? Yeah, I really... Uh, I don't know how I feel. Like, part of me is like... Really? Are you gonna try and milk it that much? But then another part of it is like, yeah, that'd be pretty cool to see it in current gen. Uh -huh. But yeah, you can go around the ship, see a lot of cool things. 
you know, you can hear some conversations. It's not really that important stuff, but it, it's, it's just there to give you life to the ship. Yeah, it's there to make the ship look hustle and bustle. Yeah, I don't know about you, but I really, really got to piss. All right. Shepard, the men's restroom is on the port side of the ship. That will probably always be one of my favorite little jokes in this game. Uh -huh. It's just such a little thing, but I, I love that that's there. Shepard. Chef surprise again? Come on, Rupert. I'm sorry, princess. Well, if you listen to those guys, you'll find out that they are uh, low on food, and you can go... Yeah, it's a side Or quest. good food, anyway. But hey, look, it's uh, her. Yeah, because you spent so much time talking to her in the first game. Yeah, we'll talk to her more in this it's game, good but... To see you alive. I'm shocked. You're serving on a Cerberus vessel now? Surprising. Even to me. Yet... Who's her voice actor, by the way? I think we went over this in Mass Effect 1. The Locus Queen. Yeah, the Locus Queen. Queen. Of war. But not you, I see. Welcome back, Shepard. You have everything you need. I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Only thing missing are my private reserves. I even had a bottle of Ceres ice brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. Side quest! For a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive, and we have much larger concerns ahead. There's a very good chance this mission will be a one-way trip. Are you prepared for that? I've been through the reclaiming of Shanxi, the Skillian Blitz. We survived the Battle of the Citadel and the destruction of the Normandy together. I've lived a full life. No regrets. I'd like to make sure the crew gets the same opportunity. You're not the Cerberus type, Doctor. I don't work for Cerberus. He's really stuck on the Cerberus thing. Yeah. <laughs> on a mission that may be crucial to the survival of the human race. I have faith. Or he's just got, like, short-term memory loss. <laughs> like I said, I think Miranda forgot to turn on part of his brain. Uh, probably. <laughs> the part that develops long-term memories. Yeah. He has basic motor function, the, the brain of a mass murderer. Thing. There's a, an area in the back of um, Chakwa's office yeah. that it... Commanding if you orders. use it, I think you can use it only at a certain orders. point, but it'll heal all of your scars. This is a Cerberus vessel, not an Alliance warship. Accommodations have been made for personal taste. That said, this space is directly under the exterior pressure hall. Another little neat touch, you, you don't really need to do it, but you can select the music that plays in this area. It's all going to be like techno music, so I hope you like Which techno. Which is fitting, I yeah, guess, sort of. But here's where you can customize Shepard. You can choose his custom, uh, or I always, I hate that outfit. I call it Gay Biker Shepard. It's like the worst thing. I, I don't know why that's there. I don't know why that's there either. Maybe it's a joke Maybe. that we, uh, the developers put in. Yeah, I don't know, but I, I usually stick with this one. See, I usually go with the more formal officer t attire. I don't know. I just like this one because it looks like he's a, like a grand, uh, a grand wizard. Oh. Thought you were going with another game. That thing there, that, that's a way you can look at your trophies from the game. Like if you're on PlayStation 3 or Xbox. It's pretty neat. Yeah. <laughs> Joker would like to see you up on the bridge, Commander. Oh god damn it. I just wanna go places. Of course. No time and this is uh sorta of cool. Yeah, they improved it a little bit. Yeah. I mean, you know, it doesn't really feel like you're going anywhere. See this is the model scale that uh <laughs> yeah that I was talking about earlier mm -hmm. it's actually just a little mini game you're not actually going anywhere no well good thing you don't have to recruit all these guys yeah right recruit every single person <laughs> on the ship I don't want to talk to Joker I want to go leave <laughs> just go out the airlock poof <laughs> yeah. fuck you Cerberus you build me again it takes another two years Military may set the hardware standard, but on a first-gen frigate, they could care less if the seats breathe. Civilian sector comfort by design. The reproduction is not intended to be perfect, Mr. Moreau. Seamless improvements were made. And there's the downside. I liked the Normandy when she was beautiful and quiet. Now she's got this thing I don't want to talk about. It's like ship cancer. It's not the same, Joker. 
There's nothing here that was even part of the real Normandy. There's us. I have to take what I can get. The last two years sucked. You'll see. Even if I want a game where we play as Joker uh, in between Mass Effect 1 and 2, and it's just him complaining. I hope so. I, oh, wait, no, I don't want to play that. God, you are such a downer. I think it'd be cool if there was, like, a space section where you get to fly the Normandy. You mean, like, a space shoot? Like, a Star Fox game where it's, like... Sort of, but not really. Like, I don't know how to, how to explain it properly. Mm. I mean, I guess you could do it like a Star Fox thing where you're piloting the Normandy, but I wouldn't want it to be on rails. Hmm. But yeah, our first objective is Omega. We have to rescue or recruit Archangel and uh, Dr. Solus. So yeah. that should be interesting. Omega's a cool place. Omega is definitely a cool place. It's definitely a uh, neat planet that shows you how different the planets are in this game from the first game. They have a little more personality, I think. Yeah.